I always wanted to try one of these in 1969 Dodge Daytona. And this is the original engine in there. Big Willie and Tomiko, they used to race in the 70s. They were a little bit of a legend in California. And I can just picture them just pressing the pedal to the metal. And I usually don't like the oversized steering wheels and the thin steering wheel, but for this, I feel like you're on the line, you press the pedal to the metal, and boom. Your hands are wide enough, and you really do feel like you're taking off. In the interior, some things don't make sense to me, though. You have a radio, you have an ashtray in a race car. I don't think you're gonna be smoking on a quarter mile track. Obviously, this car is not made to take corners. Very wide turning radius, the back tires are oversized. You know, when you give it gas, it gets up, but it doesn't really get up and just take off. It's, it's more of a roar. It's, it's not that torque that I was really looking for. You know, with 440 underneath the hood, I was looking for a little more. You know, I never met Big Willie. I don't know what he looks like, but I imagine somebody with the name Big Willie would drive this car. This is a Big Willie car. In 2015, this Daytona hammered for $140,000. The value of a Dodge Daytona has skyrocketed since then and is holding quite steady at just under $250,000.